yeah, definitely. It was a very, um, very liberating win, I guess, and um, made uh, made this break a little bit, little bit more enjoyable. So yeah, couldn't ask for m um, much more than the effort we gave. And the big focus was the week, which was, uh, was just to be a United bunch, and um, I think that's that's what our trademark is. Our trademark football is playing, you know, hard and um, you know, as a, as a team and you know, for each other. For, um, for the for the Bloods jumper, so we got back to that on the weekend. I thought it was a really good response from um, from the boys after what had been a lot of pressure. It was a conscious decision that week to make it a united effort and, and bring back that uh, bring back that passion for the jumper and the passion for playing for each other. And that's what we did, and that's why it was such a, a rewarding a rewarding win. Yeah, probably. And I think the, the good thing is that it's not only. Um, in terms of, I've been getting outside accolades for you know number of the touches and stuff, but I think it's, there's been a direct co correlation with my number of uh, team uh, uh, defensive acts and all that sort of stuff. So at least, um, you know, while I'm getting you know a few a few more touches than I you know usually am, it's good that the the correlation is there, and that's what that's what my role in the team is to be honest. So as long as I'm doing that, and then obviously the rest comes. So it's good good starting spot. I, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling more comfortable out there, but. Um, I'm feeling more comfortable out there in terms of my my confidence, my um, you know just playing with the boys for a lot of the time now. You can never feel with the with the depth of our list and the and with so many um, you know with so many people who come back. I genuinely uh, can never feel never feel safe about your position in the team. I mean, it's a week to week prospect for me. I know that's an old cliche, but that's what it is. And I'm just really enjoying being out there. So I think that I think that translates into my footy. You know, I'm not I'm not taking you know, uh, things too seriously, just just really enjoying being out there and appreciating the experience because it's, you know, two years ago I was chasing the chasing the footy down the, down the road there, so it's really good. In terms of the footy chat, um, Buddy's been really good. We had, we've had we had meetings the last few weeks, obviously, and he's actually been, you know, what you guys don't find out is that he's been one of the voices that have been talking up and talking about his experience. You know, he's been at a great club in the Hawks and that's made a big difference to the group and you know it's it's nothing positive what we see on the inside it's actually um, pretty funny hearing about all the other stories I won't go too much into it but it was just more about how you know every every team and every um, every club's been through their hardships over the over the journey and we were just talking about how we're going to get ourselves out of this one I know um, we obviously had we were in a pretty advan advantageous spot with um, you know buddy coming from the Hawks a really good club and we've got blokes like Stuart Maxfield and Jared Crouch who have been who have been the drivers of the culture back in you know the early 2000s? That really, you know, that we could really put these thing, these few things together to try and help us dig us out of like what wasn't a great start, but you know, it was really good, um, really good uh, position for us to be in to have those you know uh, differing inputs. He does he does speak up and he does a, he does do a lot of things outside or inside inside the four walls that you know just wouldn't get wouldn't get spoken about. And that's one I don't want to go into it too much, but that's. He's been a really good help, and especially for some of the younger kids that just, you know, obviously looking up to him some, in terms of structures and stuff, just helping us out, like what other teams used to do against us and all that sort of stuff. Re really, really uh, uh, helpful. Our challenge is just to, to back up that effort. I mean, last year we had a really good win in Adelaide, had the, had the break, and we had um, came back to Port Adelaide and we just got our pants pulled down. So that's our challenge now. Um, and I think with the start of the year, they're showing that the, the competition is really even in Melbourne and not going to be any easy beats. And that's, that's really our challenge is to keep putting those efforts and you know, those games on top of each other.